what's up everybody welcome back to outdoor roads uh i'm still in my work attire just hitting the woods for a little bit of scouting after work and i thought i would make a little video for you guys of what i look for i'm going to a new area in the area that i i live and it's like my backup area that i hunt i don't hunt here all the time because there's not giant bucks the legal to take only has to have two points on one side here so uh but it's really it's a really good spot you can have some big bucks or some big bucks killed out of here last year this area has one main road going through the middle of it and there's a lot of roads that come off of it but it says no there's a lot of no vehicle sign road close to vehicles but that doesn't stop the tourists we're literally two three miles from the beach right here and it doesn't stop any of the tourists or anything from coming down these roads there's tire tracks there's dog tracks so you have to deal with a lot of tourism in here and i believe the deer has kind of gotten used to it i believe the deer has kind of gotten used to it and uh they're they you know they'll squat down and literally let you walk right by them before they get up i bumped a little baby yearling the other day really tiny and it was like five steps from me before he took off running but uh we're gonna check this looks like some good stuff and what i like to look for is uh I like a lot of edges is number one and then diversity there's a lot of different stuff not just pines and palmettas but like a ton of you want to get like magnolias green briar some scrub oaks oaks even a little chop and then a, like almost like a funnel looking thing like i have something here but it's just pine so i'm gonna move on down because it's, it's a little thicker down here but i feel like the bugs tend to stay to that stuff if it's wide open you hardly see the big bucks in there but when you get into this really thick stuff on walk this edge and you see where it changes from open pines to uh to like different stuff scrub oaks anything look for old like last year's sign like some old rubs and if you see lots of old rubs there set up a camera it's early season now they might be using those to knock off the velvet uh, just monitor it I'll, and i have a couple pictures i can show you guys of what i've gotten recently setting on a little rub cluster is what i like to call them it's like a little thing of like eight rubs in one little spot because they're just hitting all of it trying to and there's usually multiple bucks together at this time of year but i'll show you guys some footage now as uh, i'm walking through if i find anything i'll show you guys and i'm walking through right now and i'll show you what i don't like to see and what i do like to see over here it's literally you got tons of walking lanes so it's really hard to judge what path they're going to take with these palmettas so when you have palmettas and pines like this i kind of just avoid this area but if behind me i got pines i got some oaks some scrub oaks i got a whole line of oaks right out there i got like a wall of thick stuff there and i like to look too and see which way the wind like that's south so i'm going to come in try to loop around behind where i'm going to find for north wind and over here that's north so i can come in off this road and go up in there and see like right here is a crossing already that's a that's a small deer though but, uh, and that's that's what we're looking for that's exactly what we're looking for so i'm going to go in here it turns into oaks right on this edge of these pines and palmettas that i don't like to see I'm going to go in there and look for some sign, and then I'm probably going to hit across this really thick stuff. I think there's a swamp right here, and we're going to take a look at all that stuff and see what sign we find. If you notice, I'm following these set of tracks backwards, but there's literally a trail that's kind of going through here. So I'm going to look for some rubs as I go through. Could be a doe trail, but we'll see soon. This is why you always look around. That's pretty cool right there. A little find. You guys know what skull this belongs to put it in the comments below now it's getting pretty thick i like to see this and then you'll see a little bit of palmetto clusters where it's thick they like to use the palmettas in this thick stuff not just for bedding but for cover they'll travel right on the edge of it to stay away from predators or anything and then here's a good little trail, almost looks like a good buck trail. So I'm gonna probably loop around, check these palmettas, it's right through here. It's real thick, getting real thick. That's what I like to see. 
It's like we had some overgrowth, but it looks like they've been hitting this rub for years though too, because we got a little bit of sap and spur where where the antlers have been hitting a little bit. You can see it peeling up here. So it's a good little that's a good little rub there. And it's right on this trail. So we're gonna follow it a little bit and see if you can find more sign. Literally the next tree down, like that tree is right right there. And then this one's right here. So this is a really good trail, really good sign to me put a camera out. But now you need to start looking for a tree because it's really thick in here. So I'm gonna keep walking and see what I can see. This is what I was talking about, forest everywhere. Literally in the middle of the woods. Drinking. It's just absurd. Come across a spot with a little bit of greenery, especially with some green briar. I'm looking to see if they've been nibbling on it. And uh, just finally they've been eating it and stuff, like breaking it off and eating it. This is a good spot to mark on Onyx or Spartan Forge. And there's like literally no trees though, so it might be one right back there. So I'm still looking for a tree. These are tiny trees and thick stuff, so we're just looking for a good tree out here and you definitely need to mark that tree when you find it. Not with reflectors or anything, just mark it on Onyx or Spartan Ford. Back out to the road because I was getting close to it. That little area with the greenery is right in there, about 50 yards. And they came right from the greenery. Pretty good set of tracks. It's a pretty heavy deer. And he's going right in to that swamp. Now I could go in there and find a tree, but I don't want to disturb it. And it looks like there's an opening behind it. So I'm gonna see if we can get around to the back of it and see what it looks like. These are gold mines, palmetto berries. If you find those, mark them. So they'll be feeding on those too. Those and bears, so watch out. Into the thick of it. I mean like these fire breaks, these plows lines through here and there's beds all through here. So it's really hard to judge this area. There's beds like everywhere, like all through here. So I'm just gonna back out, go back into that thick stuff and uh, cut through and probably call it because my knee is hurting but i didn't really go too far just want to show you how to look for sign and what to look for to find it real quick i hope that helps a little bit to get you guys started if you're looking for a spot i'm up here in northwest florida right like on the the beach so if uh and a lot of locals will know where this is and they'll probably try to look up where i'm at it's okay I don't hunt this area. I'm just scouting a new area. And I'm fine with sharing it. There's looks like a couple of good buck sign in here, but not exactly what I'm looking for. I can climb some of these trees with a saddle, but I feel like I'd make too much noise in here. So this would be a good spot for actually for a climber. One of these trees way up to the top. I just don't like that shooting angle with my bow. But good, good rifle spot. I'm gonna go back through this thick stuff, hit the road on the other side, and then, uh, then hit the truck. See if I can find some more sign and maybe a tree to climb. And just to highlight, you wanna find good edges, like thick edges, going into open areas. It doesn't have to be open areas, but as long as it changes. From like big oaks to scrub oaks, planted pines to big pines, oaks to pines, any kind of habitat change. Check that out. When you get in there and you see more habitat change, magnolias, um, sunlight hitting the ground where you got green coming through, little oaks, big, like just a variety of stuff. That's where the bucks are going to be most of the time, I think, because they don't have to go, they don't have to go shopping for the buffet when it's right there. So... Let's check it out. We got good green, good sunlight here. It's literally right off this road trail. But uh, some trees to climb too. Might check this out over here instead of this over here. So one good tip when you're scouting 
and if you're new to scouting so you don't miss a lot of stuff um is like five to six steps to stop look around for a little bit see what you see you might see something you want to go look at and if you look at trees that you think might have rubs don't forget to look on the back side of them when you pass them because sometimes they look like they're not rubbed but when you pass it there's sure enough big old rub on the other side and see i'm sitting here looking around right now i see a rub over there but it's not a good one and i'm gonna head right back this way so i found something that's not on the map and it literally just kind of sinks in and you the box will walk this high edge all the way around this and scent check i'll show you i don't know if you guys can see but it goes down to the right sinks into the swamp right down in here and then comes back up on the other side and it's pretty open on that edge so i would walk this edge and look for sign and check the top of the edge the top edge too because they're going to sit and check this this is almost like a thermal hub so I would, that's what I would check, just this little bowl right here. And Back on the main road, just walking down it, looking around. Sometimes you'll see deer, just walking down this road. But my knee is hurting, so I'm gonna cut this video a little short and head home. But I can't get out and scout like I could last year because of my knee injury, but uh, I'm getting around a little at a time all right i'm headed out i hope this video helps everybody at the end of this video i'm going to throw up some photos here of the trail i walked i tracked my walk through on x i marked that good really big heavy crossing going into the swamp and uh i don't think i marked the rubs but i know where they all are but i just wanted to show you guys uh I just wanted to show you guys what Onyx looks like and then when you get out there how much different it is and it's so imperative to get out there boots on the ground just drive through and see if you see any changes and then go walk in and see what it looks like that's how I found that little spot there and there's buck sign like there's a lot of buck sign in there more than I thought in that little bitty block of woods so uh, I hope this helps somebody and make sure you like and subscribe guys and share this video to somebody you know that needs some tips for florida florida hunting up north we'll see you next time